so hello and welcome to Halilchronics in this video we are going to take a look at um, generating stress strain graphs on Microsoft Excel so when we're given a question where you are given load elongation data that is um, you are given values for the load in a tensile test experiment for a specimen of this cross-sectional area that is 61.12 millimeter square and a gauge length that is an original length of 63.5 millimeters then you are given um, data for the loads added to the specimen from zero that is the initial load and the initial length to the final values before the breaking point or up till the breaking point it is necessary for you to generate a table this can be done manually but on Microsoft Excel it becomes so much easier so here we are going to be able to calculate the um, extension the stress and strain and also um, plot a graph of stress versus strain which can be used to find the values of young modulus and other physical properties of the material. Now, the main advantage of using Microsoft Excel to do calculations, tabular calculations, is because and on Microsoft Excel you can do basic calculations and even some complicated calculations. And if it is in a tabular form such as this, you have the liberty to just impute a formula once and then fill the rest of the columns without having to repeat it for each step. So for example now if we are going to calculate the extension, the extension is going to be the length at that particular point minus the original length. So at the initial stage where our load is zero, our uh, extension is certainly going to be zero. But let's just impute the formula so that we can replicate it on the other columns. So for calculations in Excel you first insert the equal to sign and then instead of having to write the values for each calculation if you have those um, numerical values on in, a ta in the table or on, on any cell on the Excel spreadsheet you can simply write the cell address or just select the cell now for example here we are going to calculate extension based on the formula length minus gauge length for each value of length so we are simply going to type equal to then click on the cell that contains our um, length then minus our gauge length now here's the thing since we are we intend to drag this value to fill the um, values for the remaining tables while putting the cell address for a constant value which is just on one cell that is it doesn't increase or it doesn't change across the row or down a column we need to impute a dollar sign indicating that it is a it is a cell address that has a constant column and a constant row for example this one has a constant column but it changes it has a constant row but it changes down the column while this one is just one address so it is going to be it's, it's going to have two dollar signs one before the row number and the other before the column number so for this we can see the cell address is c3 right so we put a dollar sign before the c and then before the three you can see it highlighted the cell here also you can see the colors correspond with the values that we are imputing in this calculation so we, you click enter and it will give you your value now for you to calculate the values for these remaining cells you just simply place your cursor here until it shows this solid black cross and then you drag it down the column and to just 
automatically generate your answers based on this formula now if you click on any single address you see that the values of your length change for example here it's c8 here it's c9 but the values of this gauge length doesn't change because of these dollar signs now to calculate the stress the formula for stress is force over area therefore to calculate the value of stress you also click on equal to our values of force that is the loads that are being applied to the specimen change down the column but the cross-sectional area is constant so here also you click on the cell address for the load divided by your cell address for the area that is c2 you have c then two you click enter so you drag this down remember that your stress is going to start at zero because your graph is supposed to start from the origin now for strain your strain is going to be extension divided by initial length so instead of mo um starting again by writing the formula for extension divided by initial length since we already have tabulated the values of extension here we are just going to use the cell address for this extension divided by this length so you have equal to this divided by our initial length which is a constant value again that is c3 enter now your values of stress and strain as well as the extension at the initial point are going to be zero because at the initial stage there was no load added to the specimen now after calculating your values of stress and strain we already know that a stress strain graph is a graph of stress against strain that is stress on the y-axis and strain on the x-axis